Welcome to the Coordinator's Corner on Bulls Cast. We look at the defensive side of the ball today with Coach Chris Kosh. And Coach, let's first of all go back to the win over UConn 13-6 to at Raymond James Stadium before the bye week. Aggressive defense. You had a lot of blitzes called from a lot of different areas in this game. The result was tremendous pressure on the quarterback. That seemed to really make a big difference. Yeah, we threw a little bit of the rhythm off with those guys and got them behind on the sticks and uh, got our guys up on our toes and attacking a little bit and we got pressure with five-man rush and a six-man rush and even our four-man rush of our down people did a nice job and uh, really happy with the way Tayshawn Whitehurst came in and competed as a freshman and starting and he made a couple big plays for us too with, with some of that blitz stuff. Well, we talked about turnovers, and our thought was when they start coming, they're going to come in bunches, and they're with the game on the line in the second half. You not don't get one, you don't get two, you get three of them, the fumble recovery and two interceptions, and that was crucial to the victory as well. Yeah, you get a, especially when you get a turnover on the plus side territory, you get a short field for offense is really what you want to do, and you know, change the complexion of the game that way and give your offense a short field, like I said. But, you know, Aquino Watson's in there lobbying right now to be a DB. You know, he wants to change his number to a low digit because he got that interception. Pretty nice taking the care of him. Yeah, I was really, really proud of him how he got down, too, and noted, you know, <laughs> to get down and not try to return that thing. But that was a great job by Todd, you know, knocking the ball down, Todd Chandler, and staying in the rush lane. And uh, that was a big play for us. Not an easy catch for John Logist either because he had to wait for it on that first one. That ball just got kind of popped up in the air. He looked like he was about ready to call a fair catch on it. It seemed like he was, they were trying to kill the clock with that pass, but you know it was tipped. You know, Tevin Mims hit the quarterback and uh, caused the ball to go up in the air. It looked like almost like a punt, and it seemed like it was in the air forever. And I was going, "Oh, John, catch the ball!" And he did. And then, uh, you know, he, he had to limp his way up the field there, but uh, we were able to get good field position with that also. So the Bulls take a 13 to 6 win. Now it's on to Miami. The Hurricanes come in at 5 and 5. What have they shown you on tape? Well, they've been explosive. You know, they got what they call them thunder and lightning, them two running backs that are really good players and, you know, they complement each other very well the way they run the ball. And they got a gang of receivers outside there that can really, you know, take the top off your defense with speed and good route runners and uh, they also block out there in the perimeter. And they got a tight end's about 6-6 six, six, and uh, can get down the field with you and he's 260 pounds. and and Morris is really managing the game. They're putting up a lot of points. You know, they scored 40 points in a loss last week, and they've been every time they average over 30 points a game, they had wins. So until last week, so and they have a great red zone percentage right now that they're really executing very well in the red zone. We got to match that. How has the bye week helped in terms of getting healthy? It seemed like particularly in the defensive secondary against UConn, every time you'd bring a guy in, he'd be hobbling off two plays later. Yeah, we're trying to get 11 out there at times, but it's helped being off. And uh, also with, with, with you know, being off a little bit, uh, we're able to get some more reps to certain guys that have played in games and get them, get them more seasoned, younger players that are playing for us. And uh, it was it's beneficial in two ways, getting people healthy and getting guys more experience in playing and competing against their offense. And, you know, we're both getting better and we're going against each other. First of two in a row on the road. Coach, thanks. Good luck in Miami. Thank you. Defensive coordinator Chris Kosh joining us. The Bulls head to Sun Life Stadium to play the Miami Hurricanes Saturday at 3 o'clock. Then it's on the road day after Thanksgiving for the Bulls in Cincinnati. Thanks for being with us. Much more on USF football right here on Bulls Cast. <laughs>